So there's a lot of fluidity in all this happening. We also see, of course, not only the kind of uh, uh, Puritanism that we see in Abu Bakr Bashir, but also resistance to it. Many of you will know that, that in December 2006, the um, uh, Pepe Muhammadiyah sent out a, a Surah Kaputusan, which said that uh, all of the Amal Saha, all the branches of Muhammadiyah, have to recognize that political parties, even if they call themselves Partai Dakwa, are still political parties, and their purpose is power. They specifically mention PKS as an example. They specifically use the term infiltrasi and said that all Amaluza have to guard against infiltrasi only parko termasuk PKS. So the, the asset Muhammadiyah could have already for America. Now, so there's resistance to that. NU is also changing. NU talks about infiltrasi dari HTI. Itu sebetulnya mengejutkan, itu karena bahasa teologi mereka sangat, sangat bertentangan. But they worry about infiltration. So the NU has been conducting grassroots information sessions in East Java to explain why the, uh, why the principles of NU are different, different from the principles of um, of E. I once spoke to the the great chair of, of uh, in John Mark, uh, in, in of, uh, in Little Boy, son of Little Boy. I said, "What will you do about Hatei?" And he said, "Those people will destroy our country." So this I mean, very strong sense of us and them. I said, "What? What will you do about it?" He said, "Don't worry. We still have the ilmu of invulnerability. So forgot the ilmu. Um, there are some people who fight their own personal little campaign." By the way, this is, this is a group called the Kikere Ki, the movement. Kikere in Klaten again. Here's a group which rejects all forms of organized religion, uh, including Islam. They do everything backwards. They shake with the left hand. The, the head of the organization, this isn't an organization, but the group has a clock which goes backwards. Um, you know, it's just a kind of rejection of the modern, and, and, uh, and Kikere's followers say, right, no Islam, no Christianity, no nothing. We have our own indigenous culture, and it's it's Javanese, we say, what books do you rely on? They read Gata Locho, the anti-Islamic text in the 19th century. So resistance from the Jawan movements. This is a gentleman who walks around solo with a t-shirt, which is a, just begging for trouble. Um, I'm descended from Majapahit and um, looked after by Sabdo Palong, who's the god Samar. And this is a highly politicized environment. This particular man says there is a new PKI. Yang menanjam Indonesia. Oh, itu apa sahaja? Saya tanya. PKI itu program kegiatan Islam. There you are. Um, there are Kabatinan groups growing again. Uh, last uh, Friday, I was talking to the head of a new Kabatinan group up on Mount Lawu. Um, but I have to say, compared to the past, Kabatinan groups, although they're growing again, are very, very small. Uh, probably will they remain so? Nobody knows. But they are very small Kabatinan uh, numbers. In Solo in the early 1970s, the number of people who were registered as being in Kabatinan numbers was about 40,000 in Kota Solo um, Now you will find groups with a couple of hundred people. But perhaps the most striking, we were talking about rhymes before. What does rhyme in the, in the past? Santo Palon is a rhyme, but perhaps the most striking one is that those anti Islamic books of the 1870s have actually been republished. In 2005 and 2006, the Makandal was republished. Uh, it looks like it's two different authors. It's actually the same person that did both of them and sold it to two different publishers. So <laughs> and it's Nama Samana, it will become Nama Kutu. But so here's the idea of Islamization, the great mistake perpetrated by the Wallis. Su Gatulocha, also been published in 2005 and 2007. Um, it's interesting, by the way, that in, in Brondon, where we have that, the various groups I've talked about, the Tutu Lion ritual, one of the, there's a small Kabatina group there, and they call themselves Gatlavocha. And finally, uh, Baba Kidiri itself has been republished. Another historical rhyme is Christianization. Now, this is a subject in our research, 
my research and with my colleagues here in Indonesia, a, a, a question we're trying to get a hold of. I mean, our interpretation, I, I'm aware that, that some Christians might find this perhaps a bit insulting, uh, but our interpretation of Christianization is that it's a, it's, it's a specific rejection of Islam. That it's not a positive step in one direction, but a negative step away from another. Uh, and so far what we find is that in 